Hello, Facebook. Hello. Welcome to uh, Punish for Protecting Live Facebook broadcast today. And um, we're going to have a very special guest coming on shortly. I'm going to try to watch it from this monitor and this monitor. Um, we've got some story today. And I'm just going to kind of wait for you guys to join us. And I swipe down these people that are writing me, which makes it kind of hard to do a live. So welcome everybody. Um, just right now I'm going to do some invites myself. So no on this today. Um, hang on one second. Getting this ready for Facebook. All right, here we go. Here we go, everybody. So welcome to uh, Facebook Live broadcast today. Just want to make sure that you guys um, are can see me and hear me today. I don't know if we're having a bad internet connection right now. Uh, let me just make sure that my guest is ready to come on. Signal. And uh, I just want to welcome everybody. I'm sorry. Please forgive me because uh, I was having some internet connection issues and I'm going to step where I can have clear internet connection. Now we're not going to have my guest on for quite a few minutes here. I just wanted to get started here to lay a little basis, a little foundation. Um, as you know, guys, we are moving very rapidly and very fast um, with regards to what we've done with Congress. And so the next couple of weeks, if you guys have asked me for, um, if you guys have requested uh, consultations with me, I would get them as soon as possible. If, I, if um, one of my assistants who assists you gives you a time, grab it because I may not have any time um, with the back and forth to DC that we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks, okay? So uh, we will be back inside. I've been on the phone with Congress for the past two days with many different members and um, with their chief of staffs and so on and so forth. Um, so we can finish what we started. So we can finish this assignment that God has put before us to take the hat of, off of. Um, so let me see who's trying to... Okay, so we're not taking anybody on here today. We have a very, very special guest today. And um, I just want to thank you guys for, for getting on right now and inviting your friends. Today, as you see the title um, for today's... Um, Punish for protecting uh, live Facebook broadcast, which will be aired on all five TV stations as well. Um, before I tell you who this person is, uh, she had reached out to me, um, and ironically, I didn't even see that she had reached out to me. So um, we began talking while I was in D.C. a little here and there. Uh, we talked more when I came home. And we've been talking quite a bit lately, and I'm very blessed to have this person. Um, will she will not be getting on for about another 10 minutes so I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a backstory you may know her um, she is a oops hold on stop writing me guys okay she is a um, she's a WWE wrestler and um, she is currently um, well being considered a fugitive uh, yeah, you may know her. Um, so we're not going to get her on for, for a couple minutes here, um, but she'll be on very, very shortly, and then you'll know who she is. Um, for those of you that don't follow WWE, you may not know who she is, but um, uh, we'll be bringing her out shortly. But anyhow, the reason I wanted to get on here and kind of give a little bit of an of a intro is because I want to, um, and I'm going to say this at the end of this live feed as well, uh, we're at a very amazing, uh, pivotal point right now, um, with being able to be inside of Congress, working with Congress members, right, uh, in Washington, D.C., um, and of course your Congress members, for those of you that don't, like, didn't take history or didn't care about history in school or weren't involved in anything, um, any, and do any of your homework regarding politics or whatever, um, yeah, the, your Congress members are, are your state representatives and then they're your Congress members and 
they um, will hold their office both in your state and then in Washington, D.C. That's how it's done. So you can contact all your local representatives. Like, you can contact and find out who is in your particular area. But see, what Robert's been wanting to do is get to Congress with all of this. Why? Because everything else is kind of like they play the no-jurisdiction game, right? So today... Once this woman gets on here, this is such a blessing because once she gets on here, this is going to get so much more attention that it needs so we can continue to save families. And what a perfect, God's timing is so perfect all the time, right? So what this is going to do is I'm going to repeat this again at the end of this video. And I'm going to tell you guys now that are watching, hello, very, very, very important to listen to what I'm going to say here. Because we have the ear of Congress right now, Right? And this has never been done before. And this connection has never been done before where we have been able to have a panel of five experts. Um, and, and guys, I'm trying to like, it's kind of distracting because I'm getting so many messages. So keep going though, it's okay, but just don't mind me. Uh, keep going though, we want to get as much attention on this as possible. So um, when you have the ear of Congress like this and it's never been done before, so what the panel of five experts did is they tied the, and if you didn't get to see the video, I highly encourage you to watch this video so you can stay. Hi, yes, you are my bestie and I'm your bestie, Kathy. Love you. Um, uh, we tied together how the child trafficking industry is tied into the family court system. Okay? So now look at, look at what's happening and look at what's happening all over this world. Child trafficking is being exposed everywhere, right? So now we've tied it before Congress. Okay, so now they have something to, if they, did, if they weren't in that room with us, they will get the video. <laughs> they will get the memo, okay? And then Robert and I and David and whomever else we feel needs to come with us, we will be back in Washington, D.C. Guys, we need your financial support for For the Children at this time, okay? We have to be appropriately ready to be there and to spend more time, which means that we don't have time to some work other jobs and don't have time to make money. We will not be giving out those names. I just want to let you guys know we have to keep everything, uh, but we will be taking all your information. We will take your information. We will go after your judges. Every single judge, we would like to see them held for their treasonous acts. So we will be doing that. Um, so I already have Anthony McGinty. His entire impeachment is before. Uh, several Congress members at this time and it's, and it's going to go to more. Okay, I want your detail. That's why I do your, your consultations the way I do so detailed. Because I want your detailed um, timeline of what you've been through and the violations and the hell they put your families through. So, so, I, so I was talking to Robert just before this live and I want to tell you guys, see this is why we're so excited. You, the people now, are finally empowered, right? And it's all about us, we the people. We are the rightful heir of this, not the government, not the other way around like they've been they've been doing. This is modern day bondage. It's no different than, you know, ancestry times of, of, of enslavement and bondage. This is modern day slavery and bondage. When you call your, when you go see those big billboards and you see where it says, um, wait, I think she might be here, and it says, um, you know, uh, contact an injury attorney, contact an injury attorney, um, you know, Robert, do you want to come on for a minute? Before she comes on? Sure. Um, where it says, contact an injury attorney. If you contact an injury attorney regarding the family court, they won't take your case. How dare they? they All right. Wow. Okay, we have a lot going on, boy, let me tell you. So we have somebody who's actually a fugitive right now, okay? And a big, huge celebrity for the WWE. And she'll be on here very shortly. I'm just waiting for her now. Um, and we've been talking for the past couple days quite a lot. She's also a Christian, so I consider her a sister in the Lord. God is moving in powerful ways, okay? And it is just so important because, like, I can't even explain to you what I felt when I walked into uh, that congressional hearing room. I can't tell you. Like, I can only... Uh, you, Those of you that are prayer warriors and intercessors and are strong Christians, you understand what I'm talking about. You get it when you know you can feel the atmosphere of a room and you can feel the atmosphere of, of certain certain things going on and it was like believe it or not it was very light and peaceful and we just felt authority and I saw the gifts inside of everybody on that panel just like literally it was like it just fired up and just took off it was great and you know that's why I put up the post and I did it in black and white and I said gosh we look we are the real Congress <laughs> right so 
Um, it's just, a, it's really about us all taking our rightful places. So what I want to do here as we're waiting for our guests to come on, um, and I see you on too, Alicia. Thank you so much for for your, your all you do, and we love you, and you were a blessing to everybody uh, down in Washington, D.C. Alicia, you're a true blessing to everybody down in Washington, D.C. Um, so, uh, Robert, if you're trying to come on, can you, like, it keeps saying you're trying to come on, maybe put a, something in comments, um, and, um, I don't know why, like, it says you're trying to come on, but, um, there's several people trying to come on, and I can't have you guys on, we have, other than Robert, I can't have anybody on right now, we have a special guest coming on, a celebrity, a very famous celebrity, um, and, uh, she wants to help us in this movement, and she's gonna stand strong with, uh, uh, okay, punish for protecting. She's 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 gonna support and be be like a face of for the children. So um, uh, we're very we're very encouraged about this. We're very blessed that God is moving in such powerful, 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 powerful ways. We are so thankful. You know what man doesn't see, God sees. You know God sees who He puts in front to do His work. And uh, you know we've all been attacked in such crazy ways and some of the very people that we've helped the most with everything we have have been, been people who, who seemingly turned on us but what we discovered is that a lot of these people are very much working on that on that dark side they're on that dark side um, and we're not on the dark side we're on God's side we're on the light side so um, you know we the God is moving and he's going to continue to move and continue to to see this through so right now we are at the at the uh, end line, you know. We we we've cut through the race uh, strip, and basically what we're going to do here um, is we're going to finish this assignment, and then we have a big work to do. So any of you that are advocates, you know, get ready because you're now there's going to be that task of restoring these families back together and the damages so many has suffered, especially children. I mean, we don't even see the depths of what these children have suffered. Okay, we talk about the depths of what these children have suffered when they're forced into the hands of their abuser. And, uh, and um, hold on one second. I'm talking to her right now. She's coming on right now. And, but we don't, we don't really see what happens. Uh, hold on. We don't really see what happens um, with all this child trafficking going on in this country with these children. Um, we don't see the horrors that they live. And it's something that, uh, you know, it's what keeps us going because we know that they're out there. Hold on a second. We know that they're out there and that they're, they're suffering so bad. But all these children are suffering so bad, you know, and, um, and parents are suffering so bad. And it's, it's affected the very health, something I've been saying, you know, what regarding trying to run for governor. It's regarding the health of our entire nation, the health and safety, the wellness, the mental health of our nation. God, that's, that's so important. You know, how can you become all God has you to be if you're so, if, if you're dealing with so many mental health issues? Look at what just recently happened with Ryan and so many and so many, okay, that have committed suicide over this. And this is where us as the family here that we are, right? Um, we need to come in to check if somebody says they need something like food or some money or something, you know, check, make sure it's not going to drugs, but like, but send food then, you know, send food then, you know, do something, send, send something so that they don't feel so defeated. Like they don't have anybody to turn to when there's this many people on social media, we're talking millions of us. Okay. Nobody should ever, this should never be, this should never be, this just shouldn't be. They should need, they should know that there's somebody, somebody's more than just one person out there for them and for for everyone everyone you know people that are in the front lines that are doing this every day we deal with all the stories all day all night okay constantly dealing with these stories and um hearing these sad stories and everything and uh let me just go get her on here hang on just a moment so we deal with all this every day we deal with all this and uh you know, we have to we we, we have to kind of like um, guard our own hearts and minds so we can hear these stories all day and night so we can work, okay? So without you know you're not you're not crying all the time, you know, and and not capable of working, right? So you do kind of have to have. I don't believe that that's a hard heart. I believe it's just a guarded heart. There's a difference. A hard heart can't love, 
right? But a, but a guarded heart can protect their heart and keep loving and keep having compassion and keep having empathy and keep moving forward, right? So that's a special strength that, that I believe God gives you. It's a special strength that God gives you. All right, so now where are we at? Can somebody put the time in there for me? Because she's coming on. She said 12.15. It's 12.17, and somebody just called me. So hang on. Let me just... Hold on one second. No, I got to go back into my computer in order to get her on here. Okay, hold on, everybody. She... So she basically said the police were in the... Right near there. And it had nothing to do with her. They cannot get her where she is. So I can tell you guys that much so far. Um, they can't get her where she is. Um, so I know you guys need to hear the true story. I know those of you that may know the uh, Sandra Grazzini Rocky story. You know what's happened to her. Um, that poor lady. Let me just find her. Hold on. Not on Chrome. I, I, I can answer some questions while we're waiting for her to come on. I see your question there. Natalie, you said, this is what happens when courts... Oh, it's not a question, a statement. This is what happens when courts ignore how sick someone is. Courts intentionally uh, protect abusers. You know that. Because they are abusive. It's part of how they make money. Okay? So I, I want you guys to know that when, when with, with abolishing this system, I want you guys to know that nobody that has suffered true abuse is going to... Um, have to worry. You, you're, you can't keep going to the enemy to get to your to get an abuser to stop. That's how you get an abuser to get more power, right? So don't worry about the system. I mean, that's the last thing you need to do is worry about the system of being abolished. That's the best thing that can possibly happen. So don't be silly about that. Okay, where is she now? Give me a minute. Bear with me, friends. If you guys want to put some questions in there, feel free. Feel free. I'm just getting rid of something here so I can get her pulled up here. And, of course, since I came back from D.C., my internet has been very weird, and it's full blast. And it's been very weird. But I don't really worry about that stuff. I'm going to have you guys just... I'm going to pause for a minute here. Just bear with me. And then uh, our guest will be on. Okay, folks. I just needed a second to talk to her. And, uh... We'll get her on here. She has to go in a special room where she is so she can get on and talk with us. The property that, property that she's on, um, the police cannot cannot go on. Um, she'll explain more about that when she gets here. Um, the, so the property that she's on, and can you guys hear me okay? I just want to make sure. Let me just get, let me just see a comment or two or thumbs up or something that you guys can hear me clear still. And then, uh, because I don't want to talk and waste my breath. Just let me know when you got, I need a call. I'm just waiting for my digit to go up one so I can get her on here. Hang tight, folks. Playing with me here, so I'm going to take it back outside. She's, she's about, she'll be on any such tight. Here she comes. I'll be sitting outside here. Come to the video. And I don't know if she's ever done this before. <laughs> Hang on. A minute while I, uh, I need you guys to just, uh, I'm sorry guys. I'm going to pause one more second to help her get just one more second, if you don't mind. I have to pause to get her back, to get her on here. I don't know where to put myself to get good. Ay, ay, ay. Jeez. Okay. Hang on. It keeps cutting off, I know. It's because I keep, get, I keep getting cut off. The live feed will not, after it plays, it will not cut off, though. So just let me get her. Hold on. Just I need you guys to just be patient for one second. Stay there. Invite your friends. Okay, she's here, everybody. Just, just 
coming on right now. She's coming on right now. I just invited her. So let me see. I don't see her on the top. Thank you guys for being patient right now. I see you, Trisha. I just invited you, so you need to um, accept it. Hit accept on your phone. I have no other apps on. I have no other apps on, David. Hang tight, everybody. She's here. She's in the queue. If you guys want to say hi to her, she's in the comments there. You can say hi to her. I can't invite you a second time, Trinisha. You have to either accept or invite yourself, and I can accept you on here. We should have probably tested this. It's just been so crazy lately. Pray for Trinisha right now so she gets on. <laughs> It's not even telling me. Or she can go out and come back in. Pausing again, guys. Give me a minute. Okay. You guys that are in the queue, I can't have you, so I'm just going to X you out just to try to make it easier for everybody because I'm she might be having a hard time getting in. Um, so I'm just going to remove you guys. I'm not doing it to be rude. All right? And I just need her in here. So bear with us. If yours is spinning and it won't connect, it's not, I don't know why. I don't know why. Get out and come back in because others are on here talking. Yeah, Tammy's saying to click the circle with the green head, with the square, with the head in it. She's getting out and coming back anyway. I just talked to her. She's getting out and coming back in. Should have did this with Zoom. I'm just waiting for her. I see. Her. I'll see her when she hops back in here. I'll just have this cut up in pieces, ready to go. So in the meantime, listen. While we're waiting, important. Let me just put my thing back in here. In the meantime, while we're waiting, here she goes. She says she's trying again. In the meantime, while we're waiting, can you guys hear me okay? Can somebody comment? Can you hear me okay? Hmm? Okay. There she goes. It says I invited you already. And it's not saying that you can, um, I'm not getting any invite from you. What kind of a phone are you on? What kind of a phone are you on? Can you put a comment? What kind of a phone are you on? Hi, Tracy. What kind of a phone are you on, Tranesha? just sent the request she said there's no request I have no request <laughs> you're gonna have to I don't know get out and come back in I'm gonna move my car I'm gonna go to a different spot I don't know, the phone is so weird, it was saying that there were four people in the queue that wanted to come talk, come on the live. That was kind of weird. And, and then I, then Robert, I tried to accept him, and he wasn't even trying to get in, and then it said denied, and then it put him back in the queue again as if he wanted to come on the live. So, just weird, weird stuff. We are gonna get this story out, she said. Yes, we are. So, Trinisha, all I can tell you is I cannot re-invite you. It will not let me invite you a second time. So, um, get out and come back in again and invite yourself again. So we can get this story out. Check your notifications. Now people are calling me. Okay, gotcha. I just got you, Tanisha. Let's go.
Here you go. Here, she's coming on, everybody. So it was probably maybe my, my wife. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Here she comes. It better be a healthy engine. I requested the invite. I just added you. It's adding you right now. Just accept it. It's freaking hot out. Today is hot. It says it's adding her. I see her up in the top middle. Says it's adding you. She ha what does she have to do to get on? It's saying it's adding her. This time it's adding her. It says no answer from live video guest. So I will try to add her again, or I will try to accept your your invite. I'm in the back roads of my little tiny town. There's no cars. It's a country country road. And uh, chill out if you have something to say about it. Thanks. Good morning. Don't worry, we're going to get you on here, Trenisha. It's okay. We're going to get you on here. It's not strange. It doesn't surprise me. Try to hit the green thing. If you Listen, get out and come back in because you won't get the green thing again. I know that seems weird, but just get out and come back in. It's going to bounce for a second. Hang tight, everybody. Don't move from where you are. You want to hear this, this story. I'm pulling into the library parking lot now, everybody. And look, I can drive with one arm. Yeah, I'm, a pretty, I'm a pretty good. All right, let me get in the shade. I don't want to turn the air too loud because I don't want to like noise you guys out. Getting out and coming back. We will get this story out. I'm sitting here sweating to do this story. There she is. There she is. Here we go, lady. Answer it. Say yes. Here she comes. Everybody pray. <laughs> Let's get her on here. It's adding you. I don't know. David said something about turning your phone. Maybe you need to turn your phone horizontally. Just accept the ad. Oh, I didn't even bring a drink with me. Oops. <sighs> what do you mean, renegade? Don't get caught. I don't know what that means. Skin says it declined. Yes, rotate your phone. That means turn it in the other direction. Yes, that's the problem. Rotate your phone. David was right. Turn your phone sideways. That's what's happening. Okay, here we go. Oh, where is she? Rotate her phone. This is crazy. Here we go. Come on. And then, that's what David said for her to do, rotate her phone. Mm. I wonder if I should rotate my phone. Here she comes. There we go. Thank God. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Oh man. All right. I'm just gonna let you tell your story since now I'm I'm like 
I drove with one arm. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. Can everybody I'm so hear happy her? to be here. We're having a little slow connection problem. Can you hear me? Yeah. I hear you clear. Can everybody else hear her? Everybody, this is Trinisha Biggers, WWE wrestler, model, mother, mother first. Mommy. <laughs> and guess what, everybody? Fugitive. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Family Court. Thank you, Family Court. Um, so talk about it. Where do I start? <laughs> um... So I actually found out from a wrestling fan in the UK um, that I was on the most wanted list. <laughs> uh, blindsided, completely blindsided with these charges. Um, I've heard nothing of anyone being interested in sharing Just keep going. Charges. Yeah, she's going to keep going, keep going. So um, basically this whole entire ordeal started off with me being beaten unconscious, left bloody with my clothes off on a military base by my own former spouse or the guy that I accidentally married, that's what I call him. Um, the military covered up the crime. My baby was only two and a half to three months old when the crime occurred. <sighs> um, we actually, um, I might joke around a little bit, but we, we are actually, um, we've been put in quite a bit of danger by the officers of the court. The way that they got these charges on me seems shady to every single attorney that I speak to. And um, of course it's shady. I got caught in this web, if you will. There's a, there is, what we're here to do, what I'm here to do is to expose. I drop names. I say names. I don't see any way that they can take any action against me successfully um, because everything that I'm saying is actually true. Mm -hmm. I had a district court female judge see me with my face beaten in. Yeah, we have pictures. I beaten shut. You guys see this scar under my eye? See that? Oh yeah, okay. yep. now I do. That's not yes. the injury, I'm permanently scarred, permanently disfigured. Um, you know, that kind of affects my career. And that's right. when she asked my, or when she asked the guy who I accidentally married, when she asked him how my eye got like that, he told her he just didn't know. He's like, I don't know. She got home and she slept on it. After she thus violating my rights for three years me and my kids have not had the enjoyment of life liberty and happiness like living without fear um, he's gotten people That's in right. law enforcement to target me the, the craziest thing is yeah i've been taking so many blows and like until i started writing it down and sharing with people i didn't realize actually how much we've been through grocery yeah. store and police lights turn on behind you okay i'm almost home I'm actually right in front of my old apartment complex i didn't want to stop right in front of all my neighbors and get pulled over it was a literal 10 second time span from the time that the lights on the cop car went on to me having a gun put to my head a gun put to my head in front of my children and being forcibly yanked out of the car and handcuffed and asked where the drugs were. Um, this may sound crazy to some people, but the city of El Paso is being run like a mafia. The there government is. is corrupt and out of control. There's more, more victims from that state than I've ever seen that just viciously, viciously re-victimize women of abuse situations and then place the children right with them. I've never seen it. I mean, I right. see this all over the country, different states, but El Paso, whoa, whoa. And I mean, one of the girls is on right now.
Christian, another Christian mother. You're a Christian mother and a beautiful human being with an immaculate clean background. And uh, her daughter, as we all have been following her story for like all this time, she's finally having access to her daughter, praise God. But boy, has it been a long road. Yeah. Right. I can't imagine. I mean, their stories are... I mean, their stories are worse than mine. I've been able to keep my daughter safe and I've been able to protect her. I didn't know that this individual was going and writing these police reports. His attorney is shady. Um, actually, the way they set me up is very interesting. I was, the, sorry, my, I'm just pausing. I was the last person to show up to the custody keep exchange. Going. Okay, I was the last person to show up to the custody exchange, to my knowledge. I remember sitting at the police station for an hour, waiting to hand my little baby over to this psycho psychopath because Yahara Gutierrez told me to, and I was following the court orders. Well, he didn't show up, claiming that he was afraid of me because I filed for a protective order. He communicated through his lawyer, Ismael Pease, to my former lawyer, Oisa Davis that he was no longer going to be showing up that was the last time I heard about it until a felony warrant was issued for my arrest so um that's how I went from you know professional wrestler uh you know public figure mommy coach you know, uh, I'm a domestic violence activist as well. I actually have done several, several seminars. I've donated several hundreds of hours to the city of El Paso, um, speaking to the youth and their juvenile department about domestic violence, what to do if in that situation, how I process my own situation while I was hurting, while from my injuries from this guy, while I was in pain, I was donating my time to the same city that's persecuting me. I was donating my time. They were using my image. They were using my face. Being in the limelight and becoming a public figure, it needs to be used for things like this, not like just to glorify yourself. Um, and I had to get it because, um, you know, I got to catch up with the times. I don't, I can't. My ex-husband apologizing to me for confessing PS reports. And actually he started doing that right If it's frozen, I believe her i think that's the whole time her story needs to go live her, i mean her story needs to go viral just hang tight we're gonna get this and then i can have it edited for tv where none of the problems will exist shut my door make sure you shut the door
Can you guys hear her yet? Go to Starbucks. Okay, hang tight. I think she might have to get out and come back in. I, I don't usually have this problem. You guys know that. It's because of we need to keep her protected too. So hang tight. I don't know if I should get her off and give her, get her back on again. We have Trenisha Biggers. Uh, she also, um, she's a WWE uh, celebrity, wrestler, mother, activist, model. And now she's going to be um, front lines for Punish for Protecting um, for the Children. Spokes model. Spokes. Spokes. We've been having some internet problems. Uh, she's gone. Okay, we will get her back on. We will get her back on. It's interesting because, just give me a second while I get her off and back on again. We'll get her back on. It's interesting because her story, I was not a fugitive, but it's the same story, different person. You know what I'm right now, so we'll wait for her to come back. We'll wait for her to come back. But look what they're doing to these people. I mean, it's just sick. It's just absolutely sick. Okay, I'm waiting for her to rejoin. And if it doesn't let you rejoin, um, I will invite you again. There we go. We got her. We got her. They make people into criminals that they're not. You know, just because they want to protect their children. How sick. How sick. Absolutely sick. There you, there you are. Good, good, good. Okay. So, um, I don't remember where I left off. Um, so, so the last thing that you were saying, and then I don't know, like it froze in and out a couple of times. Um, oh, thank you, Dawn. Dawn said, praying in the name of Jesus that she will be heard. She will be heard. You will be heard. Amen. And we just. And that's the thing. Listen, let me just say this. The recording that's all over the internet of my husband admitting to making the false police reports, the same recording that documented, it actually captured the moment that our marriage ended when he beat me unconscious. On that same, that same recording, the judge in my family law case did everything in her power to keep it from being played. Why would she do that? Her name is... Yahara Gutierrez. Uh, yeah, Gutierrez. Yahira. Yahira, Yahara Gutierrez. We've dealt with her repeatedly. She's the same she's, judge, but Kristen's and so many other, and she's she's like, she hates women, this woman. She's insane. Hates women. She's crazy. She is. She, she's literally like every villain, the octopus and the little mermaid, um, the, the lady that kidnapped Rapunzel, she is a baby eater. She yeah, is. She has no children, only a dog, I guess. And I guess maybe if we were fighting for the rights of our dogs, she would make a fair decision. As far as children go, she sees them as something to pawn or some type of tool to punish a mother who's displaying PTSD symptoms from being terrorized by their own husband. She doesn't care. On record, she said, I don't care how, how many times he beat up his ex-wife. While I'm trying to present evidence that he has a pattern of abuse, she said that she did not care. It's on the record. I believe that, oh, I know that because I've met so many women that are victims of her. You, you know, know, it's funny, my sister just commented, my sister just commented, she said, just like Amy, no kids, just a dog. That is very true. Amy is a child attorney that was forced upon my son and um, my son does not like her at all, but the father is the only one that can take him in to see her, and he'll go with the father because he feels very nervous about the situation, and he's told me very clearly, but uh, Amy has no children and hates women and attacks women. The only woman she ever defended was a woman who let her two-year-old two -year -old son be beaten to death over a two period, so she defended that woman. Yeah, you got it. I don't, and I just want to do this. 
Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. What I want to say is that I'm naming names and I'm, I'm saying things that these people are doing, but the reason why I'm doing this is I'm taking my instructions from the book of Second Kings, and I am coming up and I am rising up in the spirit of Elijah. I'm here to pronounce judgment upon Jezebel. Yes, we are feeding you to the dogs. You mess with the wrong one. Hey, God sent me here to El Paso for you to persecute me. God sent me here for you guys to issue a writ of possession and remove me and my children. You don't know about this. Took me and my kids out of our home with no eviction. My ex-husband was there, came, he showed up with the police. Judge Gutierrez had a restraining order against him. Also, I had sole exclusive use of the property, okay? In and out, so there was no community property. He robbed us. It's actually theft and robbery by every definition of the term legally and yo by the way i know he's watching you're still listen you will be charged for the robbery you will just like you got charged for the domestic violence you thought that you got away with <laughs> y'all it was hilarious five days before they messed with the wrong one five days before the statute of limitations two years ago on 9 11 the charges went through against my husband that he thought he got away with Okay, but let me go back to what I was saying. Listen, Jezebel, we are raising up. We are a company of Deborah's. Ha! We move in the spirit of Elijah. We're operating under the anointing of Jehu. We have been anointed and we have been appointed to remove you from that throne. Amen. That is why you're probably surprised, Yahara, that all of your victims have met each other. Well, guess what? Amazing. God allowed you to God allowed you to afflict us. You only can do to me or the rest of these women what God allows. I don't want to come on and waste this airtime without decreeing things and taking control over I'm your sorry. Word, you're not wasting any airtime. Your words, you speak it right into that air. Your words are what oh, God yeah. wants. You know, you're my oh, sister. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so, you know, it's no coincidence that every single woman I've met that is a victim of Yahar Gutierrez or the other judge, I can't speak on her because I don't have any personal experience, but I believe, uh, what's her name, Laura Stratman? I don't know that one, but... Um, There's another Hodge. judge in El Paso that I've been warned that if you go in there with your children talking about abuse, that you'll lose them. That's what the uh, family court is for. Some of this happens too, though, because we, we talked about the man in Indiana who, um, and I was telling you about the boy, the men in, in Indiana being like salt of the earth kind of men, the kind of men that women like us appreciate and respect and honor, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. they're being in Indiana by the judges there. So it's, it's, it's odd how it, it's just different sections to make it look like it's a gender war, because you know how the devil it's works. It's not about genders. Oh, yeah, let's, let's clarify that, okay? Let's right. clarify that. Okay, we're here for protective parents, not women or men. This is a spiritual war. It's not physical. We war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Okay, and then everything that exalt itself against our God. Yahar Gutierrez, your time is up. I'm here to pronounce judgment upon you and your wicked kingdom. Many, many tekel. Hey, the writing is on the wall. Your judgment and the see, I'm talking to the spirit that's using her. Trust me. I'm talking to the spirit inside of you. I'm commanding and taking dominion over that demonic spirit, that Jezebel spirit, that Baal, that spirit of Baal that wants to sacrifice our children. This is a biblical formula. They persecute Christians and then they want to eat our babies. Not my children. You mess with the wrong one. I am equipped for this. I am anointed for this. I have been appointed for this. I can't reiterate it enough. Oisa Davis was my attorney. I found out quickly that she wasn't. You know, after I signed a retainer with her, after she gained my trust, she lit a cigarette outside and said, oh yeah, by the way, I'm your husband's lawyer's mentor. Don't worry, I'll hold him accountable and I will make sure that he behaves. When it time to come, when time came to make sure that he behaved, when the time came for you, Oisa Davis, talk to that spirit inside of you, the legion of demons that I have authority over. When the time came for you to operate as my attorney, you betrayed me. Do you know I have other lawyers? What do they think is going to happen? Other lawyers in town have been disclosing personal information that I shared only with her. 
Here it is. Here it is. You have a tiny they have lived. They are so. They, listen, they're sloppy. They're sloppy. It's not even like they're not even being careful. The devil. Like they're just okay. reckless. Let me say something. The devil always overplays his hand when he starts taking and taking. He always goes over too far. Yeah. And that's when the God just moves on all our behalf. I mean, look at how powerfully God is moving right now. We got the ear of Congress right now. Okay? They're done. And it's, I'm talking Anthony McGinty. She just named Laura Schrathman. Has children of her own, but she will still persecute mothers. Then you got the suicide that I told you about in Indiana. I so know. You're going to talk about the girl, the daughter. Um, you know, we've got all these people committing suicide over this. This is serious, serious, serious serious issues that are going on all over this country with with uh protective loving families that love their so i want to get this out because as i'm rebuking binding and casting down i gotta let you guys know let me show you how severe how, how severe the danger is if you go into yahar gutierrez 65th district court i ran out of gas okay coming back from lunch first of all i should have never had to leave the courthouse because i had a jury demand Amen. Three times she denied my jury demand. She doesn't have the authority to do that, but she did. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on, hold on. She denied my jury demand, okay? So I had to, instead of doing jury selection, I had to run home and go get all my evidence, right? Mainly the recording she wouldn't let me play. So I did. I ran out of gas. It happened. I called the court. If you guys look at the court record, hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Here, eat that right there. Look, get your, there you go. Get that. It's called second call. She has to give you second call if you're late. She has to give you second call by law. She has no oh, really? choice. Oh, yeah. It's well, she didn't call. do that. Let me tell you what she did, you guys. On the record, because I wasn't there, she said, well, she called, and you know what? She said she ran out of gas. This is in the record. She called. She ran out of gas. I'm tired of giving her chances. I'm going to make my decision. I'm going to make my That decision. is why you take a child away from a very good parent. There is no evidence in my case, not one lick of actual evidence. There's no evidence against me. My ex was found guilty of neglectful supervision, two counts, by CPS for beating me unconscious in front of the children. Boom. He used cocaine and marijuana in the army. Boom. I had to get a hair follicle test because he accused me of smoking weed. Guess what? A six month strand test on me came back negative. He had just failed a test for cocaine. Okay, let's move on. During the divorce trial, my ex took a plea deal and was put on probation for family violence against me. The same case where CPS found him guilty. Boom, right? All of this, I asked him directly on the stand, isn't it true that you're on probation for beating the unconscious in front of the children? He said yes, after he looked at his lawyer and his lawyer said, answer the question. That is what happened before we went to lunch break. And she awarded custody without waiting for me to get back. I got back to the courtroom, it was empty. Only the bailiff was there. The bailiff is a really nice guy in her court, by the way. Um, I forgot his name, but he's a really good guy. I'm sure you'll see this. I think he's a nice person, actually. And it's weird that he has to work for her. Like, this is Rome. I see these people. They're just like Roman soldiers carrying out orders for wicked people. You know, and I can see the look in his eyes like, oh, my God. I got a new attorney, and um, me and that attorney went up to the courthouse, and I bumped into that bailiff again. And he said, okay, you got a good lawyer now. Like, why are the lawyers bad? Every lawyer is much. They're bar members. Bar members. They're bar members. The bar membership. Yeah. So Elisa Davis, my attorney, the attorney that I had. Hold on one second, you guys. My battery. All right. So Elisa Davis, the attorney that I had, after I had legal aid and they failed to get me the protective order, they failed to challenge the judge. They're afraid of this lady. I'm not afraid of her. I don't. I don't fear the face of man, and they don't understand how to process that. That's why I'm a, a most wanted fugitive, allegedly, right now, okay? That with all of those things in place, like, okay, let me go back to Oisa. Allegedly. She specifically told me, 
she was like in her office and she just wanted me to sign an agreement with my abuser. Okay, you don't make a deal with the devil. That's not biblical. You don't sign treaties with your enemy. You have to get it hashed out. You fight it out. I'm not trying to back out. I'm not afraid. I want my evidence heard. I want my voice heard. I don't need to sign an agreement. Okay, now, so um, she tells me, what do you want? I was like, I want justice, right? That's what we go to court for, justice. She told me there's no such thing as justice. This judge oh. isn't going to give you anything. There's no such thing as justice. This judge isn't giving you anything. We don't do spousal support in Texas. Now, my ex had 63 cents when I met him. He's not like a rich guy. He was actually extremely poor. Um, I wasn't looking for money. I was looking for the truth to be out, and they refused to let me tell my story. But look at this. Somehow, magically, um, during the divorce, he was able to purchase with my money a $200,000 house. Confident. Who buys a house during a divorce? Right. Mm -hmm. It's against the it's against the, uh, the the regular the restraining order that goes in place when you file. You're not supposed to be taking out any loans. Does the VA know that I, that he bought the house without me in Texas? You can't do that. They are covering for him for some reason. I don't know why because he was only an E three, an E three, the same as the eighteen year old boys that go in straight out of high school. I don't know who he got involved with or what he tricked them. I know that he's been going around town saying he's a WWE wrestler. I never heard of him. I was married to him and I never seen him. I, I worked there and I never saw him there. His attorney has been posting on Facebook, I'm representing a WWE wrestler. And then like other attorneys in the courthouse are like, oh, isn't your husband like really famous? I'm like, no, this guy is psycho. He's like taking on my identity. They got you, they got you two flips. They got you, they do that, they do that all the time. Yeah, they do that all the time. he's the victim, he's the wrestler. He's the, the one that needs help. He's the one that needs justice, and I'm the bad guy. Like, that's ridiculous. Have y'all seen the pictures? <laughs> Have y'all heard the recording? His lawyer knows he's lying. Like, I don't understand why his, his bar card was worth this, because I'm going for it. I'm going for their licenses. The I'm going for them. They're, going, they're coming after my kids. I have to go for them. They're coming for my kids. They back me into a wall. This is my third time having to hide at a domestic violence shelter from this psychopath. I came face to face with him, and there's some things I don't want to disclose. Okay, and um, let me just let me skip past that because that's actually something I need to not. You know, let me just get past that. I don't want to divulge too much. By the way, let me tell you guys. I'm all, well, hold on. Let me also decree. It's not yeah. only a decree, but I'm speaking it. It's actually real. This battle is already won. It's a fixed fight, okay? God had already gone before me. Look, how did I meet you, girl? I've heard of you before. I heard of you. Right when all this stuff happened, I found your videos. Like, it's a fixed fight. I mean, I moved, listen, I moved into a house after I got uh, a gun put to my head at that apartment complex, we moved, right? That was just, I didn't want to live over there anymore. We moved into a, a new house and one block away, there is a billboard up from El Paso Mothers Against Family Court Abuse. That's, uh, uh, that's, be, Rhonda. that's Rhonda. Hi, ladies. I know the, the billboard. I have to look at Yahara's face every time I leave my house. So I was like, all right, Lord, I know you want me to wipe her out. And when I say her, I'm talking about the demons inside of her. Because I don't war against flesh and blood. I've been fighting this thing in the spirit. There's no flesh left. Remember that. No, it's the truth. Because the Bible says, this is what a lot of Christians don't realize. We, it, 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 yes, it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But it also says that in the last day, wicked men will wax worse and worse. That's male and female. They're actually, he's oh, actually yeah. talking about Jezebel was a human being full of demons and he knocked her butt down to the ground fully, fully, not just the demons in her, the body went too. Just never forget that. Okay. Remember so, that her skull and her hands were left? That's right. I think that we're the one. Yeah, we're so that's that's what's happening right now. So, you know, we gotta finish her off. Those of us that have a warrior prophetic prophetic warrior spirit, we don't, right. don't we go after the whole thing. We go after the whole thing. We're going for the whole thing. And unfortunately for them, they're not even fighting us. Like they're trying to do things to us, but they're actually fighting God. <laughs> Good luck with that. We're just actually standing in like, um, like in the TV show, they have stand-ins to do the lighting. We're really just, 
He's just using us to lure them in and then destroy them like he did Pharaoh. They're, they, they've done too much. They followed us to the middle of the Red Sea and they think they got us. Hey, you guys, all of our adversaries, look around you. The waters are coming in. You're about to drown. You know the funniest thing? I know that my ex is operating under a spirit of Pharaoh and he actually doesn't know how to swim and he's like 34 years old. <laughs> They always say Pharaoh couldn't swim. And this guy can't swim. He might have learned now, but I don't know. thought that was funny. <laughs> I mean, but these demons are, listen, these demons are weak. You guys cannot fight this without realizing that this is spiritual. This is not about the people not liking us because it makes no sense for her not to like me. I have taken care of my daughter and I have 3% battery, you guys. Hold on. I've taken care of my two daughters and raised them alone. He has not paid child support. I asked Yahara to enforce it. He's up to like 50K if you add the spousal and child support. She just said no. You order child support. I didn't even ask for the spousal support to be enforced. I asked for the child support to be enforced. She said no. <laughs> yeah. So, I know, I feel like we're gonna have to do a part two. My phone's about to die. Do you wanna come back on in a little bit? Yeah, you get your phone I want to say. You get your phone charged up. You you get your phone charged up, and um, we will do another live. This will get edited. There'll be no spacing in between for the TV portions. It'll be clear. It'll be perfect. We're gonna insert your, okay. your and all your pictures and all that kind of stuff in this. I'm gonna have it all edited for it, and ready to go, and then it'll come back on here on a, as a YouTube, so everybody can watch it a second time. We'll do a second interview with you. We'll do some yeah. other stuff for the children and we'll do, and we're going to have you talk to some kids as we talked about last night. A couple kids Absolutely. I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm glad you were here. I don't want you to get cut off. So we just want to all say goodbye to you and, you know, for now and God bless you. All right. and, you guys all stay in touch. And um, yeah, I actually do want to come back on later because, you know, I only got halfway through because I had to start preaching. <laughs> so. get another live later with uh Tanisha. This is Tanisha Biggers, WWE wrestler, model, and friend, and Christian sister in the Lord, ready to kick Thank some you. more. Butt. And a fugitive, holy moly, yeah. a fugitive. Alay. No, wasn't Moses? Wait, Moses was a fugitive too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have All right, you guys. We have a God uses. Work. God uses the foolish thing to confound the wise. This is our season. We're, we're victorious. My son and I were on a missing persons when we weren't missing. It happens. <laughs> Do you know what happened like before my phone dies? So supposedly while I was on the FBI most wanted list, I was in El Paso wrestling and advertising and hugging and kissing babies. The police were there. And then also I was filing, I had to do something. I can't say, I was interacting with the police in their station and no one saw any red flags Suddenly, I'm most wanted and ran out of the state hiding. I was like, I'm here at the police station. What are you talking about? Like, that's that's going to be for the second live. It gets better. It's I didn't even I didn't even scrape the surface. Okay, I didn't scrape the surface so the yet. Plot thickens, the plot thickens. We will be back sometime today. I have some consults to do. She'll get her phone charged up. We'll get this figured out. And uh, God bless you. We'll talk later. Thanks for yeah, watching, everyone. Trinisha Biggers. What's the other name you go by? What's the stage name? Chaka? Oh, formerly, Chaka. <clears throat> formerly known as Raka Khan. Yeah, Raka it's like Shaka Khan. Khan, but with an R. Yeah, I like reinvented it. It's like, the character's great. Check her out. She's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. God bless you. We'll talk later. We'll talk in a little while. Get it charged up, everybody. Okay. Thank you for watching. And uh, just stay empowered, you guys. We've been, we're all been empowered now. We've all been in power now. Major things are happening, and I'm really excited. So we're going to be moving forward.